Hey everybody, it's me again, Kale. Here once more playing Grandia 2. Never thought it'd happen again, but we're here. I know I said a week. Uh, mild complications. I'll save you. Uh, <clears throat> still trying to get my presentation voice back, just so you know. So bear with me. But I got a game to finish. Or at least to make progress on. Can't remember how much longer it is. Guess we'll find out together. Anyway. Last time we left off, for those of you who may not remember, it's been a month. For the few people that watch this series. Um, we were in the birthplace of gods and mysterious ruins that seem to date back to the time of, you know, the Granis and Valmar conflict. Uh, Valmar's back. And is being controlled by that dick, Zara. And everybody except for Rowan is on a bit of a, you know, 11th hour low. We're here looking for answers. So let's find them. Wait a minute. Dudo. What are these? They look like power cells. Perhaps from an ancient civilization. I have never before seen the like. Oddly shaped. Like coffins. <laughs> what is it, Elena? Someone. Someone's inside. A human mummy, it seems. It too is old. Also from an ancient civilization. They really are coffins. How would they be stored here? Tia, you call them power cells. Do you know what they are used for? I do not know. I do not have that information in my memory. I believe their function is outside the scope of my duty. Maybe back here. What in blazes could be inside? Who the fuck knows, man? Let's go find out. Probably a boss in here, isn't there? I am ready for a boss, aren't I? I... Again. It's been a while. Probably fine. Uh, power up. Oh. That's Mosey. What's that? A seal of Kranis? No. Crest is different. Combination of Kranis and Velmar. What could that mean? Don't worry, Netrunner's on it. Whoa. Do not worry. This is a message for me. Everyone, Elmo should speak with you. The Muppet? Who the hell is Elmo? The caretaker of this facility. This way. Let's go. God, I hope it's not the Muppet. Or if it is the Muppet, it better be voice acted because there's no way I'm in any shape to do Elmo's voice. Welcome, Tia. What can I do for you? Elmo, caretaker the birthplace of gods. People are suffering. Answer our questions. You're the caretaker of this? The resting place of the people of darkness? You must know something of Valmar. Please, tell us. Indeed, I do know. For at one time, this was the place where Granis and Valmar conducted their research. They carried out all manner of experiments, seeking to create that power became their own. 
And so this place has been named the birthplace of the gods. For it was here they ascended into their own power. Well, now I'm lost. I thought... Never mind. Look, just tell us how Valmar can be destroyed. What can we do? Trap Valmar in a seal? There's gotta be a way. What do you mean by seal? You know, a seal. Come on, Elmo, work with me here. You mean the seals of Granis that seal Valmar? Those crests, you know? Ah, now I understand. The system that collects the individual units of Valmar. And you refer to it as a seal. No doubt a mistaken reference to its secondary function. It's what? It has another function? What else do those things do? Its primary function is to activate Valmar. The collection and assemblage of Valmar's pieces is slowly a proprietary stage. What do you mean by activate? So it is the system that prepares the human body for possession by Valmar. Correct. The system encodes Valmar into a human host, using the essence of Valmar with a corporeal body. It was never intended to act as a seal. Buddy. You're telling us that Valmar was never sealed away? Correct. What you call the seals of Granis attune Valmar with the human body, modifying the form of the human host as necessary. For example, the horns of Valmar within you can be released, attuned, and again be given a physical existence. can be embodied? But Yuda would end up becoming Valmar. You also seem to misunderstand the being called Valmar. In order that you have proper understanding of these matters, I will show you the ancient recordings that I have. Uh oh. Oh no guys, it's a cutscene! When the world was still young, and yawned at every new dawn's waking, Granis came. All was bathed in the light of heaven. Thus those were the days of marvels, for the power of creation was given unto man. Prayer became form, thought became matter, springing from the minds of men. Many wonders were worked in those days. Meet. The people grew prosperous. All that they could desire was given to them. Soon they lost their ambition, their passions. They ceased to dream. Still the worship of Granis grew in strength and number. All were compelled to pray without ceasing. So may have been the intent of Granis. The few remaining people who sensed danger in this course found power to resist Granis. They found power in Valmar. Power to release the energy bound up in life Power drawn from the people themselves. Power to unmake the world. Thus in those days they made war. Just two sides taking their... Taking their powers too far. Granis destroyed, and Valmor's body lost. And now the destruction in men's hearts knows no bounds. It grows with every passing day. A colliding of darkness and light, and then a bitter rain. Valmar has the ability to absorb a person's soul. That, that which you call a seal is a device which embeds a person's heart and soul 
into the core of Valmar. It transforms the instincts, prayers, and wishes of a person's heart into the core of Valmar. So if I remain calm and don't give in to emotion, then I'll be safe. Yes, that possibility is quite real. But... I am uncertain. But like the Grana Saber, it is possible you can assume a form unlike the horns of Valmar. But can we be sure? If he cannot control his emotions, Ryudo will become Valmar. If that happens, a new Valmar would be born. And regardless of who wins, Valmar will be complete. Elmo, fire that thing up. Huh? I'm about to do something Ryudo. stupid. I do not think that a human heart, emotions, can be controlled. No matter how much you want to save the world, if you give in to anger toward Valmar, you will end up like Malthus. Right. What will we do if that happens? No. Don't do it. I couldn't bear losing Ryudo to Valmar. Don't worry, Elena. I won't give in. No matter what form I take, I know that you, my need to protect you, will help me persevere. I believe that. Ryudo. Elena, there is no other way. If I don't go, everyone will die. Heavy. The system has been activated. apologize to you for what for watching you desperately struggle to discover what a human heart is what it is capable of i am ashamed that i treated you like a doll for that i apologize Ryudo, please do not worry about it this plan is nearly hopeless I believe in you. I do not want to see the end of humanity. I enjoy the company of people. Yeah, yeah. Ryudo, please protect my dreams. Rowan, no matter what I become, a terrible battle will take place. I want you to evacuate everyone as far away as possible. Please do as I say, Your Highness. On my journeys with you, I have discovered who I am. Ryudo, I owe it all to you. You do the same for me, Rowan. We have Even to win. Even when I didn't deserve it. No, we will win. Ryudo. You must absolutely, positively come back. Why did it have to come to this? I wanted to save everyone. I did everything I could. But still, why can't we be together? What did I do wrong? Elena, nothing you ever did was wrong. It was right. That's why I can do this. I'll happily risk my life to protect your kindness. So if I should die, you may live. I have a cat. You don't. Live, Elena. Live. Self-sacrificing asshole. The horns of Valmar will be released. Please proceed to the center of the system. The 
join me for these trying times, little buddy. What a good friend. All right, kitten. Let's go unleash terrible power upon the world. As is my right as a JRPG protagonist. Oh, it's an angry save point. as one. Let the real power of the human spirit be known. Like circle panning is is nice and all, but I think I think we got the message. Thank you, Weedle. That's a long way down. Definitely be back. That's fuck straight up. I'm falling. How far will I keep falling? Oh, this place is pretty trippy. Keep my heart under control. I'll be able to choose the correct path. Losing means my death, that's fine. Become Valmar and turn into a monster. You really contain your anger against Valmar. Who toys with our lives, consumes our souls. Ryudo! Sky, what the hell are you doing here? Flapping around, smart guy. Someone's gonna keep you company. You idiot! You could be killed by me! I don't think you will, Ryudo. I have faith in you. Always have, always will. Guy. Never change, do you? Crazy to the end. Well, I'll show them. I don't give three bits a damn. Believes in me. I'm doing this for myself. What the heck and weighs down? Am I? This is where my heart will be tested. And is this a dungeon? Oh heck, it's a dungeon. I don't have camera control. It's a heckin' dungeon, y'all. Uh, do I still have my equipment? Sick. Cool, man. Alright, well, you know something? Call the episode here. A little bit early, but you know, we've built the suspense. Let's hold on to it for a little bit. Oh man, how do I do my outro again? Right. Hope you're all enjoying yourselves, and if you're all in your dumbbell, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll come back next time and see if Ryudo can keep his heart in the face of the power of Belmar. Till then, you know, this is a just day. I'll see you next adventure. Later.
still got it. <laughs> 